the Renekton and get Aurelia the matchup against the Nico. Yep, gotta wait Ooh. until 20. Realistic way that Sejuani should have to recall at that point in time. This is a beautiful counter match game. Oh, Summit, he goes for the Lightning Rush, trying to bait them in. Can they oh. get the kill on the Tungo? They will get this flash. You can see how Summit was just Lightning Rushing forward because he had the Sejuani behind him, and they get a win out of it. And so now, and Joker, you know, talking about until Felba, he has teleport oh available. Oh boy, here we go. Trying to read this one, trying to get the stun first. There's the flash. They are going to get the blue buff and then maybe come over. Teleport available if they need it on Tana. But this should just be handed over to Sandbox. Oh, trying to ult up Malron here. Is he going to get in range? No. And the cocoon does go wide. But Sandbox have a bunch of abilities to get over the wall. Only yeah. Ghost has to flash. And that is a big and nice trade here for Sandbox. And they managed to actually end up saving Teleport. I can't quite see the top wave, but champion that gets much bolstering. OK. That was a stopwatch. Uh, You're, and yeah. Dove just laughs at him and says, OK, I guess I'm just going to kill you. First blood as that goes down, and so does the mid turret. And once again, it feels like the towers are swiftly falling here. For I like what Sandbox is shield. doing. They're, they're making Janair really think that they have a chance at this Look at Summit. He's like, OK, here comes the real AOE as a nice devour out of Kellen is going to save one of them. But that's three Infernals, and Summit is in your back line as Tana is going to be the first one to go down here. Lots of low members on the side of Janair. Just trying to get the safety and a bunch of poke, but here comes Summit trying to poke him down. All the flashes from both sides as Chungo trying to step forward and escort his teammate to safety, but that's going to be two sacrifices, and only the president gets out alive on the backside as Summit attempting to come in from the top side here. Knocking Root back, immediate cleanse out of Kellen. There's a bunch of damage, though, as Kellen might be picked off here. One more auto would do it. It's okay, we're doing more than an auto as Summit wants to get on top of them in the back line. On fleet, gonna get super low, and actually, Tungo and Tana able to take him out here. Good stopwatch timing, and he's gonna flash away to safety, but one more auto does it from Ghost, oh. and a couple more to take out the Nico. And this Draven is gigantic in this game. And the. Infernal Dragon's really coming in big in oh, these root. fights. Oh, Root <laughs> has to be really careful. Ghost is going to go all the way back to full HP. OK, that's, a, that's unbreakable. Yeah. And now they're going to be able to get the Mountain Dragon. And with the Mountain, they can just have Draven in on fleet to match the Baron. It should not be that difficult. Yeah. See the Draven right now, 335 AD in this game at 25 minutes. That plus the mountain to just nuke down. Okay, we're getting okay. a second mountain. Oh, this feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a really good cleanse by Kellen, but the Thomas Kent was not long for this world as Summit flashes forward, slicing Maelstrom. And you can see that Tana and Tungo they tried to do everything that they could. They actually end up picking up on like, the side lane. They can flat that way. <laughs> I mean, they're all slowed up here as Kellen once again trying to help them out. But Marong and the gang Ooh. are going to take an insane amount of damage. Oh, they got the Guardian Angel. There you go. Dove. Let's see and how teleport. aggressive. OK. Pretty defensive here once to get into the pit and just defend Will Dove. Blue yeah. Blossom's available on Nico. Yeah, oh, poking man. is coming in. The spike comes down from the Brawl. Joker with the unsealed spellbook. On fleet, a little bit too far in the front. Here comes Root trying to poke him down. Dove is going to flash over, and here's Draven in the front right. line. As they are not looking for the fight, that is going to sail wide. As Sandbox are trying to get out of there, and Jin Air not able to keep him around. Now Sandbox right, well, with the Baron on the majority of their members looking for the kill. Okay. Not sure about Root there in the front line. Probably thought he was going to get devoured, but here we go. The rocks are stun going to start toppling here. The Sandbox are going to take out the majority Ooh. of the members of Jin Air and push on for the win. And that's going to definitely be game number one. There's no way Tana should be able to resist this. He does have his ultimate available, but OK. Oh, boy. Oh. Come on. Stop the bully. <laughs> Let the poor Nico live. 
as that did not seem on the agenda here for Sandbox in game one. They get three Infernals, a Mountain. Two. The onus is on Janair to get advantages first is the wave is coming into oh your bottom boy. lane, but there's a trade. Look at this, the Ignite does come out. They are able to get that fantastic summoner away from Kellen. That all started. Yeah, they got four members on this route, a little bit low on mana, but go sticking the long way around. Whoa. We got a TP on this. They really don't want to let this one go, but Malrong is going to get the buffered flag and drag to get out of there, plus the smart smite on the backside. So actually a nice little trade there going towards Jyn Air. Yeah, Jyn Air, they pick up the Ocean Dragon. Gold is really not good. They should be able to pick this up, though. Yeah, Ghost and Joker, not sure why you're this deep in the enemy bot lane as First Blood is going to be given over to Root. Definitely had they avoid it. Okay, Joker going to use a bunch of stuff. He only gets it, and there's the steal from the Zaya of all people. It's going to go the direction of Sandbox. In goes Summit, not sure why he's going in all alone. Got a little bit too excited watching too much KT. But either way, that is going to be the... You mean so, TFT, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Summit taking a bunch of damage already. He's stuck in the pit. He does not have his flash. Still does a ton of damage and gets out alive. Oh. But on fleek is going to go down there. And actually, Dinner will win the fight. Root is not going to run out of mana. So he's got that going for him. Here's the flank, though. The flash in with the old Summit. Able to get one stun down. Joker going to charm a bunch. But where's the damage? They're not even able to kill Tana here. Finally able to get into the back line is Sandbox, but Whoa. it is only that one Renekton. But to Root! And there it is, Root! Somehow alone is able to get the two after the binding from the side of Kellen as Jinnair straight back hard. <laughs> oh, that's some good vision there from Joker. Trying to post this down, but the dragon is going to release now. In goes on Fleek. He's able to steal it away to kick. And the safeguard over the wall. Look at Corky's damage. Yeah, Dove now is just going to push them away. Root took way too much damage on the front line. Here comes the crits, too, out of Dove. And all that was really close. Stun comes down. Whoa. Oh, Dove. He has teleport, though. Yeah, he has teleport. Here comes Root, though. Can anyone Whoa. stop this madman? As the Ezreal's just running at them right now. Oh, as it does sail wide. Elder Drake getting low. Here's the flank Whoa, from the, the side. The kick comes in and the oh. stun. And there's the Elder Drake from the side. The double knock up by Joker. They're going to get that damage down. And now it's Ghost who's front lining. And now that Root doesn't have any tank line here. He just has to run away. Oh, as OK on fleet getting a little bit cheeky there. But he draws out that arcane shift. As Root does a bunch of damage here, but he's all alone as it always has oh, been on man. the side of Jyn Air. Poor Root. They take Root, they take the Guardian Angel. Okay, he's trying to yep. do damage, but one that's on gonna two, be, that's not enough. That's gonna be Jyn Air Heart going down right at the very end. So, Sandbox, they win the game. Yeah, that they do. Really nice flank there, good positioning from the side of Sandbox. Once again, a fantastic kick from On Fleek. And uh, once they were just able to out position and out team fight, Jyn Air. Sandbox are able to deny that uh, Ezreal and uh, get this game going as once again the kick is going to come down here on a jump throw. Just trying to zone him out as they take down this Nexus. It goes oh, Tana trying to do his best to get on in there, but he will not die one more time. And Sandbox are going to be able to pick up the 2-0 victory tonight. And that's 